Okay, here we are with game two, blue, red, blue, white, red flash versus dot of nothingness. Um, so we can get our opener. So our opener, which is pretty nice. We signed in Seraphodon, seems though creatures might be more useful than uh, things like Pillar of Flame and so on, even if he does run fogs. Um, not the fastest of hands here, but uh, got to dissipate, which is nice, and uh, some creatures. So we're uh, just going to play land and say go. Which is pretty much what our opponent is going to do as well. He's got some caverns, which is quite interesting. One naming Angel, win, one naming Demon. So I assume we must be running Angel of Serenity. Not quite sure what the Demon is. Maybe a Desecration Demon or something. Which would be quite interesting. Not something we'd particularly want to deal with. He's going to play the Seraph here. Uh, it's probably not a good idea to play the Seraph. I really wanted to put some beat downs on him. But if he did have happen to have the door, we would have been uh, in a bad situation there. Seems like we've got no way to remove it in hand. So, a uh, bit of a risky play there, but ends up paying off. And uh, I'm going to start getting some beat downs in, if not the fastest beat downs. Tension Sphere is pretty nice here as well. Uh, oops, sorry, what's that? Um, so, uh, even if he does play the door, it comes into play taps. If Valley hasn't played a temporal mastery, we can actually uh, exile it before uh, he manages to set it off. Plays the Angel of Serenity here, which is minorly annoying, and uh, I think we're going to have to use the Detention Sphere on that instead to get back our Serath and uh, prevent beatdowns from our opponent. Just gonna play think twice here. Still gonna leave up dissipate just in case. And uh play out of seraph here. And it goes for a Sphinx's Revelation for three. Uh, I don't know why he didn't tap all his lands, but uh decided to let that go. It is annoying but ultimately if at this stage it looks like he's gonna try and win by using door to nothingness, so I might as well just keep my counters for that. I feel. Ranger's path, there's nothing to really be concerned about. Although clearly he's got enough mana to uh, go off with Dor if he uh, happens to play it. But draw a few more cards and uh, find another counter spell in the form of Rewind, which is very nice. I'm going to have to discard here, but we don't really need Supreme Verdict. That's probably another card that we should have sided out, actually. Probably better than uh, siding out Pillars, seeing as though he's got Fogs. So, uh, we tap for 2 here, putting him down to 11 now, we're all the way up at 32, which is uh, quite ridiculous. There's another Chromatic Lantern. Now I'm just going to play out the Angel so we can keep on the uh, beam down just that bit faster. There's a Fog there, but it's not really a big deal. Still not doing a whole lot. Though Alchemist Refuge does mean that we uh, should be cautious on our own turn. Let's play an increasing ambition there, which makes you think that he's probably only got one door in his whole deck, which is kind of interesting. Definitely didn't want him to find whatever he was looking for, and uh, I think Dissipate was the best way to deal with that, as it does have flashback, so... Uh, what was that? Goes for Temporal Mastery, and we're going to rewind that. I'm tapping our lands, and uh, keeping these two Snapcasters in hand is a... Uh, that they provide additional counter spells if we need them, which we might well do. There's another fog there, but he's running low on cards in hand. I'll draw a card here. Managed to find a gate, which is awesome for us. It's another counter spell. So we're uh, basically got three counter spells in hand now. Opponent goes for a Sphinx Revelation for seven. Definitely don't want to see that, so we're going to negate that. Clearly hasn't found his door and goes for an increasing ambition. I play my Snapcaster. My opponent responds by trying to uh, sink his revelation for nine. But I have the second Snapcaster, obviously. I could have rewound or negated and counted both of those, and uh, he would have been dead next turn. So that was the game and the match. Quite an interesting one, but uh, I think you really need to be running Thragtusk in this kind of deck or 
out some sort of aggressive threat that uh, draws away counter spells and so on. Otherwise, your opponent's just going to be sitting on their counter spells and waiting for you to uh, either play the door or mess up in some way. So, uh, I don't know. Not it doesn't seem like a great matchup for uh, the door decks, the blue, white, red flash, and uh, we managed to put it away this time. So uh, that was the match.